what's good guys so i'm going to be showing you all how you can um use text buttons on billboard guys so like right here i have a billboard gui showing up this part that's inside the workspace and as you can see like i'm hovering over these text buttons and they work if i were to click them in game and i had functions connecting to me clicking them they would work okay so we're going to be um, we're going to be going over that real quick because uh, I saw somebody was saying that they didn't know, they didn't think that that was possible. And, you know, so um, I'm letting you guys know it is. I actually had to do some research myself in order to implement this for a game that I'm making. Um, and so, yeah, I thought I'd make a video on it. So let's just go ahead and put a, let's actually, you know, let's be crazy. Let's get a little crazy. And let's find a part inside of the toolbox. Why would I ever pay a hundred Robux for that? And it's made by Slightnik. That's crazy. That dude's a well-known programmer. I'm pretty sure he's created a lot of utilities and frameworks. I think the Knit framework. Anyways, let's just go with this tree. Let's go. What am I doing? Is this a plugin? Oh, this is a plugin. Oh, that's why they were costing stuff. Okay. I feel stupid. Um, all right, let's go with this tree. Cool tree, bruh. Make sure we don't have any scripts that have been added. All right. So we have this tree. Let's say we want to do a um, billboard. GUI, some random part of this tree. Where, where's this? Where are these parts at, actually? All right, let's go lower. Can we get? Uh, can we get like one of the base parts? Is that possible? Um. All right. Whoa, dude. Whatever. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. We'll just do the main part. It's like, is that a mesh part? What is this? Class name. First class name. Now. Okay. Mesh part. All right, so we're going to put it inside this mesh part. Sorry, guys. We're going to put it inside this mesh part. Um, let's create a billboard real quick. Billboard GUI. Got this billboard GUI. Let's create a text button. Text button. Now we have this text button inside of this billboard GY. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is first things first, we're gonna say always on top. Now we have this glorious text button. I'm gonna just customize it real quick to something really cool. Uh because I you like that. Um, there we go. I'm gonna add in a bar stroke. This would be looking sick. All right, cool. Now we have this text button here, okay? Actually, you know what? Let's just get crazy and add in a UI corner. Now we're really crazy, okay? So now we have this text button, all right? We have this little text button. I'm gonna say it again for the fifth time. Uh, and, okay, let's get our script going, all right? So we need to, we need to do a local script. So we're gonna go to starter player, starter player scripts, local script. And now we're gonna, um, this is where the magic happens, okay? First of all, actually, let's get us a remote event. Remote event, okay. And we'll do uh, billboard text button event. I always do like really long names for my events, so it's perfectly clear what I'm doing. So local billboard text button event equals game replicated equals game 
dot replicated service. Wait for child, billboard, blah, 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 blah. So let's go over here. And now we're going to do billboard text button event. Uh, and we're going to actually get our billboard. So this is something that this is how we're, this is going to work. Okay. We're going to drag this part, uh, not part, but we're going to drag this billboard GUI. Okay. And we're going to put it in the starter GUI so that it ends up in the player GUI. Okay, so now this is going to end up in the player GUI. And now we're going to go to the Adorni property on this um, on this uh, billboard GUI. Okay, the Adorni property. And we're going to go and give it whatever part in workspace that we want it to be. And so now it's going to be attached as if it was inside of that part that's what the adorni property is for and that's how we're going to make this work and now you can see it's acting like a it's acting like a text button when i'm like you know going over it okay so now we're going to go back to our script we're going to say local player equals game dot players dot local player local player gy equals player dot player gy Local billboard GUI equals player GUI dot billboard GUI local button equals billboard GUI dot text button button dot mouse button one up connect function. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say billboard text button event fire server. Um, and now we're going to go on the server here. Server script service, add a script. And we're going to say, um, cause we're firing on the server. We're going to say, well, first we're going to get our, long variable right here all right and we're gonna say billboard gy event dot on server event connect function player um and then we're gonna say warn um player dot name has clicked the button from billboard gui all right and so that's it. And and let's uh let's go ahead and run it. Let's go ahead and run it. Run it up. Run it up. Billboard GUI is not a valid member of player GUI. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do wait for child because obviously we need to wait for that mode. Eh. Crock potty has clicked the button from billboard and that's how you guys would create a uh billboard or a text button for a billboard gui and how you would hook that up okay um i hope you guys uh i hope this video was really helpful for you guys um and yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Um, peace out.